Millions of royal enthusiasts worldwide tuned in to witness Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's enchanting wedding at St. George's Chapel in 2018. There was much to admire, from the Duchess of Sussex's elegantly simple silk Givenchy wedding gown to the noteworthy choice of transportation, a Rolls Royce that escorted the bride to the ceremony. The maroon-colored Phantom Ivy, which conveyed Meghan and her mother, Doria Ragland, from Cliveden House Hotel to St. George's Chapel, had an interesting history. Forty-six years prior, it had been utilized to transport another American divorcee, the Duchess of Windsor, to her husband's funeral in 1972. This choice of vehicle raised questions about its significance, as the Duchess of Windsor, Wallace Simpson, played a pivotal role in the abdication crisis. This comparison might not have been well received. The Daily Mail's Sebastian Shakespeare even questioned if it was a joke in rather poor taste. According to Palace Insiders, it was suggested that Meghan may have made such a choice to convey a hidden message about her marriage. Some speculate that Meghan's approach to Harry was driven more by financial and status considerations than genuine affection, and there are rumors of an impending breakup or divorce. Additionally, Meghan has often been seen emulating Wallace Simpson, particularly in her choice of outfits that resemble those worn by Simpson. Yet, Meghan might not fully grasp that Wallace Simpson wasn't a widely respected or beloved figure. Although initially, the abdication crisis may have appeared as a grand love story, where a man relinquished the British throne for love, over the years, that narrative has lost its luster. The Duchess of Windsor's life didn't end on a particularly positive note. Meghan Markle's attempts to draw parallels with Wallace Simpson to elevate her own status could be considered misleading or mythical. She seeks to enhance her prestige by aligning herself with two women who married into the most powerful monarchy. One significant distinction between Meghan and Wallace is that Meghan asked Harry to explore the possibility of returning to the UK, resuming royal duties, residing in royal housing, paying rent, and availing government security. Wallace and Edward never pursued such options. The narrative diverges when you examine their respective actions. Wallace and Edward's marriage on June 3, 1937, at Chateau de Cannes in the Loire Valley, did not witness the presence of senior royal family members. They assumed the titles of Duke and Duchess of Windsor. Edward's abdication created a lasting family rift, as his departure compelled his younger brother, the Duke of York, to ascend the throne as King George VI. The Queen Mother would later hold the Duke and Duchess of Windsor, responsible for tearing the royal family apart and contributing to King George V's early demise.